everyone and welcome to my corner of the world. Today I'm sharing a fun fold or fancy fold, whichever way you'd like to, to call it. And it's the tower pinwheel. And if you look, when it, you turn it up like that, yeah, you've got the four pieces coming out around this sort of centre square. And you've got lots of panels you can use with the decorative paper and put in little images and then this is where i put the this is where you're going to write your your message your to you love from me in here so let's make a start so i can show you how i put this together now i'm using the harvest meadow designer series paper and I don't have an awful lot of it left. It, it's been lovely. Um, I particularly love the fact it's got misty moonlight in it. Uh, so that's the paper stack I'm using. So um, we're going to start with our pieces. And the first thing that we're going to start with is a piece of cardstock that is six and three quarters by four and a quarter. And I've scored it at one, two, three and four inches along the long end. And then with my bone folder, I'm going to put those creases in nice and firmly. And we're going to turn them in on themselves like this so that we end up with this shape. So this is our, our basic shape here so um now normally as you know if you pro if you follow my my blogs i use uh liquid adhesive um but for this piece um uh because i need it to be ready quickly so that i can show you the next stage i'm going to just use some double-sided tape this is the tear and tape. So there's that. And then I'm just going to burnish that up with my bone folder. Make sure I've got really good adhesion. And then just take the backing off here. like that so i'm just going to put this cut edge in next up to the the four inch score line here See if i can show you how i do it you can just see and then i'm just going to bring that round so that it it's it's harder to do slowly than quickly okay so I can get my all my edges lined up and I've got a nice piece like that. OK, and then I've got three panels uh, of the same Misty Moonlight cardstock. And these are four and a quarter by two and three quarters. And I will tell you now, you need to make sure that your cutting is accurate um particularly on that four and a quarter so that all the edges match up and i am going to go ahead and use my liquid glue now and i've basically folded this flat temporarily and i'm just going to add some adhesive just to that first panel here if you can see that's where i just stuck it down with the tear and tape and here's my first piece and then I'm going to put this cut edge of my panel up against the fold. And I want them to be level. And I want them to be meet up the cut edges on these two sides there. I'm just going to press that firmly. And then I'm going to roll this piece up so that the next panel is ready and 
And again, I'm going to repeat that cut edge against the fold that's that's here. So let me just kind of line it up. Now, the other good thing about using the liquid adhesive is, is that you can just smoosh it up slightly till it meets and these edges are even. And then just press firmly. And then the last piece, I'm just going to roll that up. And then again, my cut edge against the fold. Oh, glasses just fell off my nose. And then just press that firmly. And I'm just going to let that to set just for a few moments. But you can see that there's my pinwheel. There's my, my centerpiece, my pinwheel, there's my pieces coming out. So that's the basis of the card. Now we're just going to decorate it up. So um, I'm using, as I said, my Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. So I've got three panels that are four by one and a half and two that are four by two and a half. Now, you don't need to worry about jotting down all these measurements because if you look below this video, there's going to be a link to my blog and all the information you need to recreate this card will be there. Now, I've also got some of the brushed metallic uh, sheet cardstock and I've chosen the really dark one. There's three different ones in the packet, a light uh, medium and a dark gold. And I have run it through my um, mini embossing machine with the greenery embossing folders. And so you get two. One's all leafy. Um, and then the other one has got these sort of tightly packed leaves. It looks a little bit like um, knitting to me. Uh, and so I've got that. And then I've got a strip of cardstock. This is my, my, my basic white. This is, let me think, one and a half by four again. That's where I'm going to write my message to you, love from me. And I think that's a bit longer than four. I might have to trim that one up. And then um, finally, I've got a piece that is two by two and a half. And I've already decorated this one up. Now, I did a video a couple of weeks ago in my... Um, blends series um introducing blend series that's how i've colored up my pumpkins um and again if you go onto my blog you will find a link there so there's my pieces and so i'm going to just ease this should be nice enough and dry enough now to be able to um uh decorate up so um, I'm going to start by putting my front piece on. And again, I am going to go ahead and use my liquid adhesive. Now, all the stamping on this card has actually been heat embossed. And I've used gold. That's not, don't, that's a, that's a lie. I used um, copper embossing powder powder this is being a bit difficult there we go just need to slide it down a little bit now um and i've done my pumpkin here is all done with embossing powder this is not never mind i'll worry about it not being quite lined up and then i'm going to take each of my pieces in turn See if I can do a better job lining this up. I'm making sure it's the right way up because this does have a direction like that. And then I'm going to flip it over. And on this piece, I'm going to use a piece of designer, the piece of designer series paper. Now, 
you could attach these pieces of paper to the cardstock before you assemble. However, I found it was much easier to make sure I got it in the order I wanted it if I um, attached the, the, the pieces to the pinwheel first. Now, as I said, I think I've got this a bit on the long side, so we're just going to go, go ahead and trim that up. Yeah, I think I was having a moment when I did that. And you can also see that I've embossed my little piece here. There we go. And then we're going to flip over. Now, this is the back of my card. So on the back, I'm going to put this pretty piece here. there and then i've got my next thinner strip and again making sure it's the right way up and then my la final large piece of designer series paper And then my final piece of mm, the smaller piece of designer series paper. There we go. And then we flip over and everything is in is in place. So there's our card. All deck um, all um, finished assembly, but I've got a few extra pieces that I want to put on. And these pieces, my, my stamp set today is using the Pretty Pumpkins stamp set. So this is the one that I did for my middle piece here. And then this piece is here. And then my, my greeting is also from there. I've stamped my envelope and embossed that as well, heat embossed that. So... I'm just going to put my final few pieces down. Now, I'm not using any dimensionals, um, and that's because it put an extra layer of thickness onto the um, uh, onto, into the card, and I don't think it needs. Now, I've also been using the coordinating dies, the detailed pumpkins dies, and I've used it to cut out this um pumpkin here as well as the leaves there's a couple of really pretty little leaves in there as well and i just had a tiny scrap of granny apple green that i had in my stash so that's that bit there and then i'm going to flip this round now this pumpkin is also cut for using the same dies but for this I've used the cork sheeting um, and this is really lovely, uh, great for guy cards as well and it cuts very very well with the with the dies. So I'm just going to put a little glue, pop that there and I'm going to pop a little adhesive there remove those out of the way and there's my card and I've already done the envelope as well and then I've got these lovely brushed metallic adhesive backed dots and I am going to just um, add a couple onto the front of this card just to I don't know just finish it off are you going to use a big one and a little one. So there is my version of the tower pinwheel card. The thing I like about it is that it will fit in a regular size envelope. Uh, so you can just you can just you don't have to make a special envelope or anything for it. 
and you can make these for practically any occasion so this one i've just used the you're a peach um series designer paper on melon mango and again i've just used the designer series paper i haven't put too much in the way of additional embellishments on it but again that would make a really nice card to send to somebody just for the sake of sending it to somebody and then i have a christmas version as well um that that features um the reindeer and christmas trees and that's the back and then we have a punched christmas tree there so you can do whatever theme you like with your pin fold cards um they're very easy to make and as i say if you just follow the link below this uh, video it'll take you to my my blog with more information well thank you for joining me today if you've enjoyed please go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you don't already do so go ahead and subscribe to my channel and then you'll be notified every time i post a new video thanks for joining me today Bye-bye for now.